Hi everyone, my name is Anika and this is Cindy. Welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Thank you so much for watching. So we were sent these 4K NVR systems from Mcrest to test out and we were surprised at how easy it was to install and set them up. Now, this system records 24 hours a day and we will tell you everything you need to know about it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon to remain notified because we do release videos on a weekly basis. Now, please also use our Amazon links if you shop on Amazon. Now, those links are in every one of our videos and they really help us out. Finally, if you want to see our videos weeks before anyone else does, see our Patreon link down below and you can get the details on that. Yay! So here is the complete system you get in the kit. You get these six cameras, which are 4K, 8 megapixels. They are power over ethernet, so you only need to plug it into your network cable. It has audio as well, so you can hear everything that is going on outside. Now each camera also comes with a hardware kit to install on your wall, and it also comes with six Cat 5E cables, which are 60 feet in length. Now the NVR comes with an internal two terabyte hard drive, but if that isn't enough, you can replace it with a six terabyte drive. Nice. Now, as I mentioned, the NVR does come with six cameras, but it supports up to eight. So this complete kit goes for $760, and we put the links down below if you want to get the most current price. So here is one of the cameras. As mentioned, it is the 4K with eight megapixels, so the quality is excellent. I will do a test shortly outside with zooming in. It has a mic to pick up audio, which we will also demonstrate soon. And we will only need this cable here to plug in our network cable and it has an optional 12 volt power source. Mm -hmm. You can also rotate and adjust the camera and you can tighten the screw to lock everything in place. Perfect. So this camera is rated for a temperature of negative 30 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit, okay? So I'm sure it will do just fine outside. You can insert an SD card which goes right over here and here is a quick video from the company showing how to install it. For weatherproof reasons, the micro SD card slot is located inside the camera body. This requires disassembly of the camera in order to access it. I mentioned it has audio. I will leave my microphone here and go outside to show you the video and audio quality. So we're here outside and as you can see in the corner of our house we have our camera and Tell me what the quality is looking like here. How is my sound? Seems like it's pretty good. All right, guys, so it's nighttime and we have no external lights that are on, only the lights from the camera that you are using. So can you see us? Can you hear us? We have no mics on, so it's literally all from the camera. Let us know the quality, what you think. We want to know. Can you see that it just keeps you wet? Ah, ow! <laughs> <laughs> This camera is mounted on the corner of the house and it is picking up good quality from the sidewalk. I can zoom in and get detailed video. So I've got my laptop here and setting it up wasn't too hard. We connected the NVR to the TV using the HDMI cable and then powered it up with a six cameras that we recognized automatically and were recognized automatically. Now once connected to the TV, we can use the mouse to get to the IP address and then use our laptop, which I have here. I prefer to do the monitoring through the app on either a phone or a tablet but I'm gonna show you some of the settings connecting directly to the NVR. By clicking on the gear icon, you can see under network, this is where I found the NVR IP address. Once I have this, I can enter it into my browser as my laptop is on the same subnet. I can also change the IP address if I wish. I will click on system and then general. This is where I name my network video recorder 
NVR Home Automation X. If I click on Image and then on Camera Name, this is where I can change all the names of all the cameras. These names will appear in the lower left corner of each camera. Finally, if I click on Event and then Detection, I can choose my camera from the drop-down list and then set the region I want motion alerts to occur. So now I will switch over to the app and show you guys how it's done. I will start with the live view here. You can see all six cameras at once. Now if I turn this sideways, you can see them a bit larger and you can see that if I double click, the image fills up the whole entire screen. So they have an NVR that supports 16 cameras. So if you don't, if you do have it, you can see all 16 cameras at once. Now I will show you the playback here. So this is important if you wanted to play back your recorded videos. I will have it play in this window right here and then I will choose the day I want to capture the video. I will choose all recording types and then pick the camera which I want to choose. So I'll click on front corner. You can see the lines inside the recorded blue area. Those lines are when motion has occurred. So now while the clip is playing, I'm going to capture it by pressing the record icon here. So I'll press it again and after a few seconds, you will see it is recording and has been saved. I will then go to my save files. I can see my video clips here and then I can play them back. So if I press down on the image here, it gives me the option to share with social media or save it locally to the MP4 file. I will save it as an MP4 file and there it goes. That seems like a lot of work to save a recorded file, but I guess it does work. Um, yeah. Now I will show you another way to see your video files. From the menu, you click on push notifications and then click on configuration. For the push type, you have three options. I chose video, but you can also choose the live view. Now I selected these cameras. If you go back to the event list, I will have a list of all my alerts in one location. Now I will click this one right here and as before I can capture it and save it as an mp4 file. Now going back to the menu, the last thing I will show you is the configuration center. Here is where you can set the configuration for each camera like the motion zone. I'll click on the region setting and I can define the area I want the motion to be triggered on. Mm -hmm. Any area that is shaded in with color will trigger an alert. So I would say these are the most important settings you would use in this app. Now some things I don't like about the system are that you have to do a few steps to save your video clips to an mp4 file, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, it would be nice if there was a one step to save the video you need. Yeah, agreed. Also, the NVR, NVR is noisy, so that might be a concern for you as well. We keep ours hidden away in the basement, so it's not a problem for us. For me, the system is also great, though, because the cameras are 4K, 8 megapixels, right? And it can monitor 24-7 on all of the cameras without having to worry about it. And I even forget that it's recording half the time. So if something did happen, you can always go back and check the footage. Now, if you are uh, being more proactive, you can get push notifications every time someone walks inside your defined motion range. Yeah, we put the links down below in the description box where you can get more information on this. So if you found this video useful, we ask that you please share it on social media. Also, there are these videos here on the side that you can check out. The video on the top is our most recent one, and the one below is our recommended video just for you. So please click on either one and check them out. We appreciate all of the support you provide to the channel. Thanks Thank for you. watching.